Australopithecans were a group of hominids that lived in Africa between 4 and 1 million years ago. They are closely related to the Homo lineage, which includes modern humans and are considered to be an important part of human evolution. The first Australopithecine to be discovered was the famous fossil known as the Tong Child, which was found in South Africa in 1924. This fossil, which belonged to a child who lived about 2.8 million years ago, had a small brain and a combination of ape-like and human-like features. Since the discovery of the Tong Child, many other Australopithecine fossils have been found, including the famous Lucy, a specimen of the species Australopithecus afarensis that lived about 3.2 million years ago. These fossils have helped scientists learn more about the anatomy, behavior, and evolution of these ancient hominids. There are several species of Australopithecines that are known to have existed, including Australopithecus afarensis, Australopithecus africanus, Australopithecus garhi, and Australopithecus sedibea. These species varied in size and anatomy, with some having more ape-like features and others having more human like features. One of the most striking features of Australopithecans is their small brain size, which was about one-third the size of the modern human brain. Despite their small brain size, however, Australopithecines were likely capable of complex behaviors and had a number of adaptations that allowed them to live in their environment. For example, Australopithecines had strong arms and hands that were well suited for climbing trees. They also had a pelvis that was adapted for bipedalism or walking on two legs, which would have allowed them to move efficiently on the ground. In addition to their physical adaptations, Australopithecines may have also had sophisticated social and cultural behaviors. Some scientists believe that they may have lived in small groups and had a division of labor, with some individuals responsible for foraging and others responsible for caring for young. There's also evidence to suggest that Australopithecines had a number of tools and used them for a variety of tasks. These tools were made from stone and bone and included scrapers, choppers, and awls. It is thought that the Australopithecines' use of tools and their ability to walk on two legs were important adaptations that allowed them to survive and thrive in their environment. These adaptations may have also played a role in the evolution of the Homo lineage, which includes modern humans. Despite the many advances that Australopithecines made, they eventually went extinct, likely due to a combination of environmental and evolutionary factors. Today, they are remembered as an important part of human evolution and a testament to the adaptability and resilience of our species. The study of Australopithecines has provided valuable insights into the early history of humans and has helped scientists better understand the complex process of evolution. These ancient hominids remind us of our shared ancestry with other species and the many challenges and innovations that our ancestors faced in order to survive and thrive in a changing world. After the Australopithecines, the Homo genus of hominids evolved and ultimately gave rise to modern humans, Homo sapiens. The first species of Homo, known as Homo habilis, appeared in the fossil record around 2.8 million years ago and is thought to have descended from an Australopithecine ancestor. Other species in the Homo genus include Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, and Homo neanderthalensis, among others. The Homo genus, a group of primates that includes modern humans and a number of extinct species, is characterized by a suite of traits that set it apart from other primates. Members of the Homo genus are distinguished by their bipedalism, or the ability to walk on two legs, as well as their highly developed brains and advanced tool-making abilities. 
The first members of the Homo genus appeared on the evolutionary scene around 2.5 million years ago, with the emergence of Homo habilis, or handyman. This early member of the genus was characterized by a more advanced stone tool technology than that of its predecessors, as well as a larger brain relative to body size. Homo habilis was followed by Homo erectus, a species that is notable for its ability to migrate out of Africa and colonize other parts of the world. Homo erectus also had a more advanced stone tool technology and a larger brain than Homo habilis. One of the most well-known members of the Homo genus is Homo sapiens, or modern humans. Homo sapiens first appeared on the evolutionary scene around 300,000 years ago and are characterized by an even more advanced tool-making technology and a larger brain than their predecessors. Homo sapiens are also notable for their highly developed language and communication skills, as well as their ability to adapt to a wide range of environments. In addition to these three species, there are a number of other extinct members of the Homo genus, including Homo heidelbergensis and Homo neanderthalensis. Homo heidelbergensis, which lived from around 600,000 to 200,000 years ago, was a transitional species between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens, and is thought to be the common ancestor of both modern humans and Neanderthals. Neanderthals, which lived from around 300,000 to 30,000 years ago, were closely related to Homo sapiens and were characterized by a number of distinctive physical traits, including a large brow ridge and a receding chin. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Homo genus is the question of how these species are related to one another and to modern humans. DNA evidence suggests that Neanderthals and modern humans interbred, and that present day, humans have a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA in their genome. However, the relationship between the various species of the Homo genus is still an area of active research and debate among scientists. Despite their many differences, all members of the Homo genus share a number of key characteristics. One of the most notable is their bipedalism, or the ability to walk on two legs. This trait is thought to have evolved as a way to free up the hands for tool, making and other activities, and is one of the key features that sets humans and their ancestors apart from other primates. Another characteristic that is shared by members of the Homo genus is their highly developed brains. All members of the Homo genus had larger brains relative to body size than other primates, and this is thought to be related to their advanced tool-making abilities. Homo sapiens, in particular, have a brain that is significantly larger and more complex than those of other primates, and this is thought to be related to their highly developed language and communication skills. In addition to their bipedalism and advanced brains, members of the Homo genus are also known for their sophisticated tool-making abilities. From the simple stone tools of Homo habilis to the complex weapons and tools of Homo sapiens, the members of this genus have consistently demonstrated a remarkable ability to create and use tools to meet their needs. Thanks for watching Documentary Pilot. If you would like to see future documentaries like this one, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future documentaries.